I'm gonna show you the roadmap to becoming AI researcher from zero, from nothing. First of all, uh, learning AI can feel a bit circular, so you need to understand backpropagation to understand neural networks, but you need to understand how neural networks work to understand the purpose of backpropagation and what it does. So you will just sometimes, or a lot of the time, just go at it. Even if you don't understand some parts, you will understand better and better every time. And so it's uh, difficult to just create a linear path from A to B, because it's a bit circular. You need one to understand the other, and the other way around as well. And this imposter syndrome, I felt so much. Whenever I understand a new thing, like gradient descent, I'm thinking, oh my god, yeah, I understand it now, but these researchers at OpenAI understand way better than me. <laughs> so, <laughs> it doesn't make any sense to feel that way. Of course, they understand way better than me. So, uh, if you get this, like, uh, this is not enough, yeah, I learned something, but it's not enough, uh, ignore that feeling and eventually it will stop. And so the only thing you need to do is sit down and study or watch videos and understand. And doesn't matter if it feels slow or feels like you're not understanding it uh, well or whatever those feelings are, you just need to sit down and do it. And so don't compare yourself to others but to yesterday's you and you will actually uh, realize that even if you study for one hour you will understand things that you didn't understand one hour ago. First, I recommend starting with mathematics. So this is high school mathematics. And uh, do you understand functions, how functions work? You can, uh, three blue, one brown. So YouTube channel, three blue, one brown, it's good. Uh, like what is a quadratic function? I'm gonna scroll quickly through this. So this is on my school. My school is currently free, uh, link below the video. You can check all of this. I actually have the video here explaining it all, but maybe it will become paid in the future. Nevertheless, you can, you know what to learn now so functions and then derivatives of functions so what are derivatives so uh, they show the rate of change of the function so what does that mean so there are a lot of videos i recommend three blue one brown for all of this uh you can also talk to chat gpt it will uh, tell you the same things that you can see here and then vectors so what vectors are uh, gradients this comes this builds on top of derivatives and vectors so you need to understand when you stand somewhere on a 3D surface like this, the gradient will sh uh, be a vector that points to the steepest ascent or the uh, steepest rising of the surface. And so, and then matrices, these are very important. So you're gonna have to understand matrices pretty well. Uh, three blue, one brown again like how matrices rotate space when what happens when a matrix multiplies a vector it's gonna rotate the vector and stretch or squish the vector as well so again like don't have imposter syndrome if this feels difficult just uh, study learn compare yourself to an hour ago you not to uh, Ilya Satskever or whoever is the open AI the hottest top engineers and scientists you can find a link below to this my school page and you can see all of these courses here. Then PyTorch Fundamentals. So this is also available on YouTube. You can either watch here or other YouTubers. So creating tensors, matrix multiplication in PyTorch. Oh, okay, okay. I'm gonna get the video here as well. Uh, so how are two matrices multiplied? Interestingly, I saw uh, Sam Oldman uh, explaining something and pointing with his fingers uh, on multiplying two matrices so I didn't know if Sam Altman would be like if his job is to know this but he knows this so that's just interesting observation I didn't know if he would know stuff like this and all of these uh, other lessons here have videos as well so just uh, search these on YouTube ask chat GPT or watch on my channel or watch in this course then uh, neural networks from scratch so I recommend starting with a single neuron from scratch understanding the way the optimization the input output and then uh, like a linear layer building a linear layer implementing maybe multi-layer network and then some normalization like batch norm layer norm rms norm uh, so learning rate so this is like additional knowledge here so maybe uh, i don't know if i will move it somewhere else this is additional additional knowledge but optimizer is very important adam optimizer is the most important uh, optimizer and uh, this was recent video on my channel also 
just the latest video like 40 minutes ago and you can just watch it and everything you don't understand about uh, slope uh, gradients and stuff you can just start learning uh, and it may seem overwhelming like there is so much in the beginning but it's actually not that much it's so simple and small uh, when you learn it and it's not gonna take so long so don't uh, get scared so I got uh, these draft lessons. I definitely recommend understanding chain rule. And this is, uh, you will learn this in the uh, derivatives in the math and uh, understand some rules of derivation and how chain rule works. So chain rule is basically what back propagation on and how neural networks learn. Uh, currently it's a draft lesson. I don't have it yet. After that, we go to transformers. So um, this is gonna take some time from you. So attention mechanism. Uh, you need to understand. So you can watch my videos coding Llama 4 from scratch and coding DeepSeq V3 from scratch. You can just search. Uh, and then you will have to watch other attention uh, videos, attention mechanism. 3 blue one Brown actually explains transformers quite well as well. But here, this is a bit difficult for the first, when the, you're learning this for the first time. So take out notebook and try to draw what each part does. Why do we have key query value vectors? What does it... So attention mechanism is gonna blend information from different vectors into a single vector it's taking information blending it into a single vector so you need to understand how why and you can talk to chat gpt and uh, gemini and yeah, i recommend gemini so this part should feel a, lot, a bit scary and take a lot of time but don't worry don't worry about it just do it just do it just do it uh self at, so this is like coding you need to also learn how to code once you understand this, it's very simple, by the way. Like, once you understand, like, key query value, and it does, it adds up, it does this, it's like three sentences you can explain and understand whole intention, attention mechanism. And GPT from scratch, I was explaining the whole code here. So multi-head attention, uh, you will actually understand this within attention. So maybe I will remove uh, these lessons. I will not make them because they are all contained in self-attention. So just don't despair and... Also, there is feed forward network. Uh, and if you, if you want, you can also learn mixture of experts. Uh, that's popular, but that's like not a priority. I would say math is priority, derivatives, gradients, uh, optimizers. And don't get scared of math. I don't understand why so many people are scared of math as if it's some uh, scary monster. If you just sit down, learn it, you will understand it. Every hour you learn it, you will understand more and more. So just uh, sit down and learn it. Don't be scared of it. And here we have uh, some of the coding uh, LLMs from scratch. So Llama 4 from scratch, you can find this on YouTube. Just search this title, DeepSeq V3 from scratch and Quen 3 from scratch. You can find all of these three videos on YouTube. I also have them on my channel and free code camp channel. And um, this is just an LLM code. Uh, I actually have this as well somewhere. If you go to this repository, Open Super Intelligence Lab, that's my repository, and the Blueberry LLM, this is our Lines language model. Uh, you can check here, train, MOE, and these modules. So this is like the architecture here. So I'm gonna look at uh, layers, MOE, LLM, and components, and understand like, you can copy this. This is how you set, so expert, top K router for mixture of experts, mixture of experts class. So you can just, go ahead and understand this. This is like how to code a large language model from scratch. And then here are some uh, my videos on YouTube that I recommend you watch. So this one, um, tiny recursive model. If you search for this on my channel, uh, this is like a new architecture for reasoning. And then Quen3 GSPO and deep uh, suggest uh, type this. And then you will also find the, it will also contain GRPO by DeepSeek. So these are reinforcement learning. These are uh, ex uh, making LLMs learn to reason. And the thing is, if you watch these videos and there is anything you don't understand, that's your new thing that you need to understand. So that's your new learning goal. And uh, don't get uh, perfection. Don't try to chase perfection and then do nothing. So just, uh, it's, it's, it's going to be a scrap. It's going to be a scrap. You're going to fight for your life. It's like, you will understand a thing here and there, try to understand a bit more. It's gonna be a scrap. It's not gonna be uh, something you can master so easily and perfectly. Then also Swiglu, just type Swiglu on my channel and uh, watch this video. 
but this all comes after you like kind of know some basics of uh, machine learning so if it's too difficult then if it's boring you don't need to watch it, it maybe it will not help you so much uh, just f try to find what's interesting because this whole field it's so circular you need one thing to the other to understand the other thing and you need the other to understand the first so it's gonna feel tough in the beginning but don't worry you are making progress you just don't see it but you are if you check my channel i definitely recommend this uh, adam optimizer and this infinite LLM pre-training with decay free learning rate uh, if uh, but uh, this does require some pre-knowledge about machine learning maybe gradients basic uh, neural network and then if you go here to playlists i really recommend you watch this probability theory or probability for becoming ai researcher this has four videos for now but i will add more and that should be easy and simple that probability that should be like high school level doesn't require um so much if any uh, machine learning ai knowledge then this is interesting video thinking transformer but you will have to uh, have some pre knowledge rms norm is the video i was just uh, mentioning i recommend this video new best optimizer muon i'm gonna make more or this is manifold muon i'm gonna make more videos on muon optimizer it's a successor of adam optimizer it's the best new optimizer and then this is for fun how to train your llm on 10,000 gpus uh it's just like some summary of what meta did swiglu this is what i was explaining i recommend that other than that i just recommend like checking different video channels on youtube you can just scroll like this and find whatever is interesting and watch it and so uh, it's gonna be a struggle and uh, don't be perfectionist just sit down and compare yourself to an hour ago you not to uh, open ai engineers and i think that's it for this video and uh, see you in the next one bye bye